So first of all, you want to know how to graph the tangent graph, y equals tangent of x, and that's what I have here. And the key thing to remember with the, you know, these graphs is that they repeat. So for example, I could draw another cycle of a tangent, and the same thing over here. It would also, you know, go like this over here. So it keeps repeating. But the way that it stands now is that the inverse of this graph is not a function because it fails the horizontal line test, right? So if you draw a horizontal line, it's actually intersecting the graph at more than one point. So what mathematicians decided to do is to restrict the domain, okay, when they're graphing arctangent, and they're restricting the domain from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. This just happens to be one period of tangent. But in this fashion, now it's only going to, you know, the horizontal line is only going to cross the graph at most once. So that means that it passes a horizontal line test, the inverse of the graph is a function, and we can now, you know, analyze it. So what we're going to do here when you find the inverse of a graph is you interchange the x and the y values or the x and the y coordinates. And that's what we're going to do here to get the graph of uh, arc tangent. Now the first thing I want to uh, do is just label these points. So this point over here, negative pi over 4, comma negative 1, Let's just go ahead and label that, negative pi over 4, comma, negative 1. We're going to interchange those values. So now we're going to be graphing negative 1, comma, negative pi over 4. Now, pi is approximately 3, right? So that means this is about negative 3 fourths, okay? So I'm just going to approximate this to help us graph it. Negative 1, negative 3 fourths. This point here at the origin, that's easy, that's 0, 0, okay? And then this point over here, pi over 4, comma 1, which is about, again, about 3 fourths comma 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to interchange these values. So 1 comma 3 fourths, 0, 0, that's already switched, and negative 1, negative 3 fourths. So let's go ahead and plot those. So where is negative 1? Well, negative 1 would be right about here, okay, and then negative 3 fourths is going to be right about here. So I'm just going to put, put that point there. 0, 0 is going to be right where it is right now, and then 1 comma three-fourths is going to be right about here and right about here. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these vertical asymptotes, and when you reflect these vertical asymptotes over the line y equals x, this 45-degree line, what you end up getting is instead of a vertical line, you end up getting a horizontal line. So these asymptotes end up becoming horizontal asymptotes, and they're going to be up here at pi over 2, which is about 1.57. So I'm just going to put them right, right about here. Okay, and right about at negative 1.57. So that's going to be right about like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to graph our tangent inverse graph. It's going to look something like, let's see here, it's going to look like this. And what you'll notice is that it's a reflection over this line y equals x. So if I sketch this in here, Okay, this line y equals x as a slope of 1. And you can see that the original graph, okay, our tangent, our original graph, which looked like this, is being reflected over that line. And here's our tangent inverse graph like this. So that's how you graph the arc tangent or the tangent inverse. Just take those x and y values, interchange them, and then also make sure to take those asymptotes and reflect them over the line y equals x. You get these horizontal asymptotes up here at pi over 2 and negative pi over 2, and you've got it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Myers Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.